the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Um, you know, but how y'all been, man? I've been out of out of pocket for a minute. Hey, man, we've been we've been working on the uh, hearing the voice of God being led moment by moment. As a matter of fact, you had uh, you had left off that uh, this is similar face the same topic that we've been doing since you last left. You know, came on, uh, and we we're talking about different ways you hear from God, right? Yeah, yeah. And, and 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 like you were saying is the fact is that you, you know. Uh, Obviously, God can talk to you and communicate with you any way He wants to, you know. Mm -hmm. And we demonstrated through the scriptures. He, you know, from talking to Him on Mount Sinai, or uh, uh, even talking to us in the New Testament, uh, He mm -hmm. He can get audio, you know, from your ears. Uh, but the most cases is, you know, and, and I think you remember what we were talking about was uh, that inner communication that unction mm. you know mm -hmm. uh mm -hmm. when he reveals to you through dreams and visions uh his means of communicating to you uh, amen but the main thing do and, and one of the things that i don't know if i said it while you was here but one of the things that was said later was the fact is that hearing from god is not a gift uh because it's a given to all mankind that when God wants to talk to you, matter of fact, I think we, we, we might have said it is that, you know, when when you're drawn toward Christ, you know, uh, you, you're not saved, uh, but you get that, that calling from him you know, to, come, to come to get saved. So he, he's communicating to us, and that's not a gift. What is a gift is when he communicates to you to communicate to somebody else. You know what I mean? Me and Papa. Uh -huh. You're going to prophesy in somebody's life. Uh, and, and it's so easy for people to say, I heard from God that about you go marry so and so, right? Or God told me that five, five of y'all going to give me $5,000. You know, you heard all those type of things before. Uh, right. And, and that's why I think it's called it trying to abuse the, the, um, the desire to hear from God. And then try to use it as a you know manipulation toward other people, where mm -hmm. it's really you hearing from God for you. You know, now if He gives mm -hmm. you something for somebody else, that 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 kind of comes in around of whether that's prophesied or not. Five hundred percent. You know, mm -hmm. you can use it for testimony. I heard from God to to do this, right? But it's mm -hmm. all about instructions that you heard from God for you. Not mm -hmm. instructions you hear from God for somebody else, uh, and we also say, you know, like when you, you're preaching or ministering or even uh, testifying or, or talking to somebody, God could bring something into some. He'll cause you to say something that you didn't know that is impacting that person, right? I mean, it could be right. a subject that you're bringing up, or or a comment, or or even a testimony on your side that, that's going to impact that other person. Uh, and and that, that's not so much a prophesy at the end because you don't even know that you're saying something for that, you know, that's going to impact that other person, right? Mm -hmm. It's a confirmation from the other person to what God is talking to them about, but it's not for you. You, you have no clue that that was for that person. And that's fine, right? Because mm -hmm. if, if you did know, then that means that you operated one of the gifts of the ministry. And the only gift I think we're talking about then is what the uh, prophesying uh, mm -hmm. to, to somebody. So that's what we're, we've been working on that. And Elder Johnson wanted to uh, discuss how to, uh, how to prepare yourself to hear from God. That, I mean, that was his asking uh, for this uh this Sunday. So so what I did was I, I brought up some uh, some 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 of the scripts we used in the past and then some some formulas that other people have given to discuss 
hearing from God or how to prepare yourself to hear from God. Oh, here's somebody right there. And, and to me, it's it just, it's just, I, I'm ready to go back to the, uh, the scriptures I have, and I'm going to show you. Hey, Bishop. Good morning. Good morning, sir. I was uh, telling uh, uh, Brother Jackson what Elder was asking for. And 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 the base I, I got up here the center you like that you brought it in you introduced that the central idea of the text, <laughs> uh, brother Jackson, and basically mm -hmm. that, you know but you want to continue to go on how to actually live and trust in faith in God's voice, word moment by moment, and then Elder Johnson put in there how to do that, and and mm -hmm. and Brad said I don't he, these are some just some suggestions. Uh, I remember when when you might be here where I think Jimmy has said is that like a number three up there, listen, right? Uh, yes. Listen, uh, but the other part is to to follow, listen, and then learn to start practicing obeying what he actually wants you to do. You know, get to that point of, of, of conferring with God, and then by faith, do what you know, do what He wants you to do. Mm -hmm. and, it, and like I say, that's why I think it's important to start hearing the voice of God and doing what he tells you to do as long as you understand it's about what he's telling you to do. Mm -hmm. when, you tell, when, you, when you get to the point where you're telling somebody else to do something, that's prophesizing. That's a gift, right? Mm -hmm. that, that's, that's a totally different gift. But one, well, I did look at one of these, uh, 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 I look at some, some other suggestions people had here. They're using that story of Samuel. Uh, Chapter three, one through ten, uh, illustrate. You know, you remember the story of Samuel when he was young. Uh, God called him. He didn't know that was God talking to him, so he went yeah. to Eli and, and he asked Eli, "Did you call me?" You know, and the guy went there about two or three times. He said, "Well, next time, say here I am, Lord, speak." Right. So right. So that 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 was it. That was the one where somebody didn't know God and God was trying to talk to him. And I was just mm -hmm. clear enough for that person to uh to respond to it. I sent you I sent those to your slide too. Um, so so one of the things that was a suggestion was to ask finally and simply to hear God's voice, ask God to speak. You know, to you. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what prayer is all about anyway, right? Communicating. Uh, we want to get to make sure everybody exactly. when you when you pray you want to communicate. It's, a, it's an exchange of ideas and so forth. Uh, well, you're right. I mean, we're talking to the Father, just like we would talk to our own parents. That's the way I look at it. Exactly. Um, but it, but in this case, you know, we are talking to obviously the the, the creator of the heaven and universe. You know, right. the, the uncreated being. You know what I'm saying? Right. And. Um, and, and um, it's interesting you say that because here just recently, last week, you know, I was just, for some reason it came to myself, it came to me that, you know, you know, all of these uh, particular ways that we've heard people pray, <coughs> um, some of these, uh, some some things that people say have turned into cliches yeah. during prayer uh -huh. as opposed to sincerity. Right. And and uh, you know God just kind of we just kind of had a little I had a little mental thing with the Lord, uh -huh. and and uh, so you know I was just you know and I've done that before but for some reason this particular week um, that just kind of came to mind that hey just talk to me you know come on um, because he he's he he's, he is matter of fact God is more for me than what I can even understand yeah and so for me to try to put it in a particular fashion. Or shape or form, that you know that's that's you know that's limiting what I <laughs> the relationship I can have with uh -huh. you know, and then the other aspect of that pastor is it's kind of like the teaching, the really good teaching that we've had from our parents, our mothers and our fathers and our grandparents and our aunts and all of that, and then sometimes you know we get out, get ready to get out there and do something. Uh, or you know we're we're inspired by something and it's it's something that our parents taught us, right. you know, and 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 we know that we uh, for instance um you know one of one of the reasons I, I this is a kind of an off topic but one of the reasons why I like to be nice I like to be gentlemanly to women is because of my mom you know uh -huh. um 
I'm like, you know, this she was a beautiful person, and 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 uh, I I wish things, you know, sometimes had it just been better for her, cause you know, you know, and I say all women, not just black women, but all women have had a, had they've had some challenges, you know, and so I just never want to ever uh, be one of those guys that helps to you know misuse abuse put down you know right. um, women and so I just you know know that being within the, the will um, or, or doing and you know it's like if they were knowing that that hey first of all God is looking at us the Lord Jesus is looking at us the Holy Spirit is right there you know prompting us and so being within their will and we hear hmm. uh, in those ways you know uh, we see in, in those ways you know we we are chastised sometimes even before we make the mistake <laughs> come on um you know what i mean <laughs> yes sir. so you, you know right we it, and given that list that you had there we can hear from god in all kinds of ways and he comes to us in the way that we need to hear you know exactly. what i mean yeah he, and you know i like to say you know when jesus brought into it, the concept of father implies a relationship too right you know, mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and just like you, you reverence your, your, your parents, some of us did growing up, uh, God wants us to have a relationship of, rev you know, reverence of the Father. And, and, mm -hmm. and that's, that's what I like about this concept that we're trying to deal with. Uh, mm -hmm. It's learn to, 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 to trust Him and, and have a relationship with Him. Because, you know, we get to the point of saying that the steps of a righteous man are ordered by the Lord, right? That, that implies he's, he's telling you to do something. And, and our job is to try to get to the point of obeying. And, not, and you know, I think, I think it's more like fellowshipping mm -hmm. is what I'm thinking is, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> fellowshipping with, with God. That, that's that's how I want to look at it is that's what I think is important for us to, to, to get that relationship uh, so we can do it right right get that relationship Amen. where we're trusting in God we're listening to God and we're obeying God you know we one of those scriptures we did was John 10 where it said my sheep hear my voice the key to it is, is that that whole verse is he my sheep hear my voice I know them and they mm -hmm. follow me. Follow Amen. me implied that there is a uh, 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 obeying, right? Uh, a discipleship, mm -hmm. uh, a, a, a uh, relationship. And that's how I think we want to make sure we keep that in mind. Uh, matter of fact, just before you go further, if you want like to pray us in, I appreciate it. Yes, sir. 